What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. This is the follow-up video. Um, I'm obviously wearing the same thing because it's the same day. I just got back to the office. I'm going to go through all of the, um, the rag bags, as we're going to call it. And um, we're going to see if there's anything good in them. And if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new content. Check down in the comments down below. Um, there's also links and descriptions to my stores and Instagram, yada, yada, yada. If you guys want to join, whatever you want to call it, um, follow me, however that is, which I need to get a little bit more active on Instagram, which I'm not. So let's get started. Okay, so the one store that I go to, they have they have rag bags for a dollar. They are one yeah one dollar. I don't know why there's an extra, just like an extra slash there. Anyway, um, I did take a little bit of, of a peek into some of these, and I am seeing some interesting um, shirts inside. So what they do is, I guess if if something is doesn't seem like they want to put it out and sell it. They'll just throw it in a bag and sell it as a rag. So, and that rhymes. How you like that? So, what we're going to do is we're just going to go through all of them. I think there's a total of 11. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. Try to keep this video under a half hour. It is 3 o'clock, quarter after 3. And I have to make sure that I get my mail out. Not too many sales today. Only six sales. Very slow. Um, I, did, you know, I did kind of not list one day which was the day that I spent with my wife. Sometimes you got to do that. You got to spend time with your family. Unfortunately for eBay, it does take a toll on your business when you don't list. So let's get started. So we're going to try to try to move as quickly as possible. This one is actually double bag. Let me throw the bags over there and throw them out. So let's see what we got. We got, yeah, see, a lot of times it's like, Triangle Pacific, the best and getting better. This is a Hanes. This is actually a vintage shirt. So nothing wrong with it. Um, I've just maybe because of the um, because of the title or whatever. It's made in USA. It's on a Hanes. So that's definitely vintage. That's that's something that I would want to look into to make sure that you know just to see what's going on. Here's another. This one is not vintage. This one is the County Fair. Yeah, see, stuff like this, I think that they think they're just going to have a hard time. It's actually a Tractor Supply t-shirt. This one, I'll probably have an issue trying to sell that. Probably just donate that right back. Um, a lot of these are going to be junk. A lot of these are not. I'm not going to be able to sell. This one is missing missing the tag, and that is why it ended up. It, was, it looked like it was a, um, an L.L. Bean, vintage L.L. Bean. So that is... That's going to be junk. I should probably be separating them into different piles. This is, wow, this is a really thin, really thin t-shirt. So this is another one. This one is vintage, really small. So that's just a vintage plain pocket tee. Um, single stitch, as you guys can see. Whenever you see the single stitching like that, that means that it is definitely from the 80s or 90s, maybe 70s. So this is an older shirt. Nothing crazy. Um, definitely nothing to get excited about. This looks like this is just a just your basic, um, basic modern. You can tell by the tag. That's just a fruit of the loom. Feels like they make them so that they feel like they're old. You know, you can just you can never tell anymore. But I can pretty much tell what's old and what's not. Here's a champion. So that's just a plain, plain old champion. I don't see any stains on it though, but. That's a size large. Might fit one of my boys. They might wear it. Maybe, maybe not. So we're just going to keep it moving. Um, we're obviously looking for... Let me try to get a little bit more calm. This is It's not comfortable sitting like that. Having the bag on top of me. like. So this is... Oh, look how thin this is. Wow. What does that say? It's number one. Number one grandpa. This is old. Yep, super thin. You can see right through this shirt. Look at that. Single stitch. Super thin. The tag is like worn away. So the tag's not on there, but that's pretty cool. 
So maybe might get something. There's going to be a lot of old shirts in here. I can already tell. So hopefully we'll find something, you know, with some value. Here's another old one. This one is on a, on a hand tex. So here is another vintage t-shirt. That one's vintage. There's a ton of them. Like here's another one. This one's vintage. So what I'm probably going to do with these is these are kind of small, but they're small. They're thin. Um, they're definitely true vintage. Here's another one. Be nice if they had the full, this one has the tag on it. This one is a pocket t-shirt made in USA. That's a pretty cool tag. So they're definitely vintage. So see the, the type of cool stuff that you can actually find in the rag bags. And there's not really anything wrong with these. It's just, they just didn't see selling these shirts, but these shirts have value. So, um, and from, it, from the looks of it, this one looks old too. This one's a fruit of the loom. No, this one's not as old. This one's just a plain, just another plain t-shirt. And here's another one. Here's another old shirt. This one has, this is a fruit of the loom. I'm trying to look and see if it says made in USA. It says cotton. Well, I can tell by looking at it actually, by looking at the sleeves. Yeah, this is another one, another old. So I'm probably going to sell these all together. I'll probably get about $30 or $40 for all of the vintage t-shirts. Here's another one. Super thin, like, wow. You can see right through these shirts. Here's another one. This one probably says pocket tee, right? Yeah, this one just says t-shirt. I don't know who they're made by, but this one just says t-shirt on it. I'm um, sure it's made in USA. Can't really see it, but there's another one, another thin so that's pretty cool. So there's one down, one down. Let's go do the next, next one. All right. There's a lot here. I didn't realize that this is probably going to take a while to do all these. Um, it is, there's a lot of shirts here. So it was definitely a good idea for a dollar to buy the whole bag of shirts. Like I said, I've seen somebody else do this before and I've seen him pick out some vintage shirts out of the piles. So that's basically what's happening right now with me. Um, here's some wife beaters. What size is that one? That's a 2XL, so that's too big. That's not gonna fit me or my son. That one's too big. Here's another one. This one is probably the same thing. 2XL, yup. Another 2XL, which isn't gonna fit any of us. So we have, this one is National National Aquarium in Baltimore. This one is pre-shrunk cotton. So I don't know. I don't think this is old, but I don't think it's new either. It's a size medium, just a pink National Aquarium shirt. Somebody's trying to sell that at a yard sale. So here's another one. Another one and another one and another one. This one's George. That one's junk. George. Somebody actually cut it into a belly shirt. <laughs> so, no good. Then we have Phoenix Occupational Therapy. That one's going to be junk also. Port Company. I think Port Company is a pretty old tag, but I don't know how old it is. So, let's just kind of go through these and try to find, you know, the ones that are basically going to... We're going to do well on. I think this is a woman's shirt. Yep, just a no boundary. Women's small, just a regular t shirt. Here's another wife beater. Um, definitely do. If I donate these to another place, they're definitely going to do. They're going to lot them all up and they'll probably do okay. This one is Jim's Steaks. Oh, that's cool. Philadelphia. So we have Jim Steaks, Philadelphia, PA. That one I can probably sell since it is kind of, don't know if that is, is even relevant. Van Heusen, that's a small, just a small t-shirt, nothing, nothing spectacular. There's another, another beater, wife beater, tank top, whatever, a shirt. Faded Glory, yeah, it's definitely faded. Look at the back of that one, that one's gonna be a rag. Okay, so we try to get through these as quickly as possible. All right, let's 
because there's a lot of them. And I just want to find all the good stuff. So I'm seeing, I'm definitely seeing some colors in this one. Yeah, I'm seeing like, look at all, look at all them colors. I'm already guessing that there's going to be at least one good shirt in here. Hopefully more. Okay, so, so far so good guys. So far so good. Yup, this one's racing. This one has Middlesworth potato chips on it. This one is Hoffman. What year is this? 99 Mifflin Town Hoffman. There you go. That's pretty cool. Even the Middlesworth chips on the back is dope. So this one's from 99. That one's definitely a keeper. There's a keeper. Um, let me separate these real quick. Ones that I'm probably going to list today. Something like that. There's going to be a huge pile because they just stuff them in there. And then when they when you let them out, they're just, there's so many. Here's another one. This one is United Express Line Motorsport. Oh, this one's cool. Made in USA. Another one, Keith Kaufman. Keith Kaufman. They're really cool. Like, they're double-sided. This one's probably another older one. Yukon something, Pennsylvania, Mifflin. These are Mifflin Town, so, I mean... They are local. It's going to be a little bit more complicated probably to try to move these, but we'll see. We shall see, said the blind man. There's a lot of them. Here's another one. This one is King's Royal. This one is 50,000 to win. The historic Eldora Speedway. This is a, is that a Judy screen print or something? Something like that. This one also is assembled, okay, but it's got a really cool, really cool graphic. Look at the graphics on that. So definitely, definitely some value. Maybe not a ton of value, but definitely some value. These are all racing shirts. Um, I don't know why they didn't list them though. This one is, oh wow. This one's on a beefy tee. Here's another one, another Keith, Keith Kaufman, Keith Kaufman, get her done. The graphics are really cool on these. Yup, it must be sponsored by Middlesworth. It's got a little, little string, little hem issue at the bottom, but nothing serious. Pretty cool graphic. Fast Tees, Thompson Town, PA. So these are really colorful. That's one of the biggest. That's something that we're definitely, I'm definitely seeing a lot of, a lot of cool color. Dyer Masonry. What's this one? Here's another old one. This one's on a 50-50. Lance Dewey's Dyer Masonry. Thompson Town, another Fast T. This one is a 90... 92 wow this one's this one's got some age to it that one's cool that one's from 98 so that one's dope hopefully they'll be relevant you know there's a lot of them here's another one they're in pretty good condition there's not a ton of there's not like a bunch of stains this one's new oxford pa this one's 2000 rob hilbert this one stevie smith the black bandit Nice if that was an actual autograph. I don't think it is though. It looks like it. Stevie Smith, the, the Black Bandit. It looks like an autograph. It looks like that might be an authentic autograph. I'll have to take take an extra look at it. Look at this one. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Now we're really starting to get into something here. Look at this one. Oh, my goodness. Smile for the camera. There's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Red Hot. Wow, the graphics and the size of this shirt and just everything about this shirt just says awesome. Assembled in Mexico. It's a large. That's big for a large. It's just, this is really cool. I'm trying to find a date here because that's the most important part. If I can find a date, Dale, NASCAR, no, there's some stains on it, but 
it's all good wow this one's really cool yeah that deserves another look look at that so this is the reason why i picked these up now why didn't they put because it has a little stain at the bottom so they they took it out unbelievable so you just never know and here's another one here's a dale earnhardt some of these shirts go for a lot some of them sell for up, up into the hundreds so here's another one this is the reason why I do what I do. This is the reason why right here. Here's another Chase. This one is made in USA. So you already know that this one's older. Um, it's not single stitch. Not finding dates on these though. <coughs> really cool. It's got the barbed wire all on it. Seven time Winston Cup champion. Really cool. Wow. This one's cool. All right, that one's dope. Those two right there are, are going to put me where I need to be. So that's really cool. Oh, look at this one. Brian Hack, Hack's Garage. This one is 1991, Satzler. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Garage and trucking, it says on the back. So this one's from 91. This one's vintage. Obviously, it's made in USA. It's on a screen star, made in USA, single stitch. There's your screen star. In case you guys don't know what a screen star is, that's an older tag. They still make them, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That was that was a good one here. Here's another one. This one is Lucky 7. Oh, yeah. This is one I think that is. This one's Lucky number 7. It's on a preferred sportswear. Made in USA. This one is the Lucky number 7. I think, I think that this shirt right here is definitely worth worth some money right there here's the back there's the back of it maybe this one has a date on it yep 95 sports image so there you go there you go guys wow just in that one bag it just everything just completely turned around and just from that one bag and we still have tons left so let's keep it moving wow i'm really happy now what do you guys think if you guys have comments leave comments man i'd love to hear what you guys think about these ba these rag bags it makes me want to just keep going there and picking them up. I couldn't wait to go back to pick these bags up to look to see if they had more. And they had they had 11 of them, and I bought every one because I already knew that it would be nice if we could get a wrestling a wrestling or um, or a Banty, you know, like Metallica or something crazy. Like, man. All right, Seagull Century. Okay. Seagull Century 2000, Salisbury State University. This is Maryland, so this might have a little bit of value to it. This one's on an anvil. This one is a bike. Bike New York 2003. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty neat. That's actually something that I might be able to move. All right, then we have another one. Here's another one. This one's actually a long sleeve one. This one's long sleeve, another bike week. Here's another long sleeve. This one is a seagull. All right, so they got so you got the short and the long sleeve versions of both of these t-shirts. I'm gonna definitely put those together then. I'll sell them together. Then we have a really big Carhartt. This one is actually a cutoff. It is a 4XL. Um, I probably won't get a whole lot for that. That's probably not really worth messing around with. This one says, Hunting Big Bucks. This one's on a Falcon Bay. Made in, made in Pakistan. So, I don't know. Another big shirt. I'm sure these all belong to the same, same big man. There's another one. Just a plain. Yeah, that's a big shirt. That is a big shirt. That's a 4XL. Yeah, so those are just nothing crazy. Keep it moving. Even moving, let's see. Man, I'm happy for them to find that Dale Earnhardt stuff. That was just, that's really cool. Um, the junior, I don't know if the, if the senior stuff would be more, if it would go for more. I don't know, I'm not really sure. So this one is just a USA flag. This is Old Navy. Old Navy 2004. That I can definitely sell. I can get probably 15 bucks for that. So there's definitely value. This Oh, look, Key Largo. 
My shirt is made in the USA. And yeah, this is, I don't know if it's a single. It's not a single stitch, but it just says Key Largo on it. It's made in USA. I don't know if it's old or not. It, def it feels old, but that doesn't mean, doesn't mean that it's vintage. It could just be, there's another one. Man, guys, we hit the jackpot. Active wear, made in USA. The heartbeat of America. That's really cool. Look at that. That's really neat. I'm sure there's a stain on it somewhere. That's why it didn't go. Um, I'm trying to find a date on it. American trademark. I don't see the date. I don't see a date anywhere, but it's not a single stitch, but still really cool. Really cool heathered. Whenever you see that mixed in gray, like gray and like off white, that's called heathered, like a heathered gray, heathered um, pattern. All right, what do we got? Bass Pro Shop. Um, this is just whatever. If there's no stains on it, I might sell that. Possibly, you know, whatever. Then we have the North American Hunting Club. Proud of our hunting heritage. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's vintage or not, but this is just stuff that I think that they couldn't get anything for, that they just weren't trying to list. Now, if this was like community aid or or something like that, like Salvation Army, they would they would take these shirts and they would put them on the rack and they would put like three dollars on them or something, you know, just just so they could sell them. All right, here's another one. Oh, there's a snap on one. Oh man. Wow, this one's on a jersey, made in USA. This one is a Mark Richard. What's the date? 92. Alright, so we have Mark Richard. Mark Richard. There you have it. It says Fickett Kronberg Racing 66K. I have no idea. And this, being that it has some stains around, that doesn't even matter. That, it don't matter. I mean, if it didn't have stains, it would be a little bit better, but this one's made in Canada. Here's a snap one. Very hot. Um, looking for a date. Choco Motorsports Barbecue. It's only got one side on it, but it's really cool. Cool snap one. Got a couple cool cars on it. Maybe like 20 bucks for that. So what do you think, guys? Man, I'm stoked. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely, I'm thrilled with all this stuff. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm almost overwhelmed that it's so much. But I didn't want to miss anything, so I had to grab all of them. I didn't want to miss nothing. So, I just figured that I would, I would if I didn't grab every single, every pack. And for $11, we already made our money back, so... The money's already back off one shirt. So, I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense to not do this. So, this one has a lot of stains on it. All right, so we just have a plain, just a plain white tee. That one's stained. That one can go. I need to start making a pile of stuff that's no good. Here's another one, another Middlesworth, another Keith Hoffman. Um, hopefully, um, if he's not anybody that's like, some of them are old, so they're they're really old shirts from the 90s. This one is a 90, 99, double-sided, got the Middlesworth chips. Um, if he was sponsored by Middlesworth, I think Middlesworth is, um, is a Pennsylvania chip company. So I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not, I'm, I'm not absolutely sure, but what I was thinking is, um, if it's not something that's super popular, I can just lot them all together. And one person probably from Pennsylvania, maybe even from that town or related or knows or been to those races or whatever, is going to want those shirts. So it's all about just kind of connecting those, you know, connecting those dots. So we'll see. This one is... It's like Camp Counselor, Arkansas Children's Hospital, Teamwork. So I don't know. That doesn't seem like something that I would want to list. Man, you should see this mountain over here of clothing. Here's another one. 2004 Knoxville Nationals. Past winner. That's pretty cool. So this is 2004. It's not vintage. 
couple years it will be. Um, double sided, another one really cool, man. There's a lot of racing shirts in here. Here's another plain one. This one is CWC Volunteer. That one's gonna be junk. Here we got some yellow, just some plain yellow shirts. They're gonna be junk. And we even have a, we even have, um, I could probably throw that in my car. You know, God forbid, you know, if I'm on get if I'm on the side of the road or something and I need something bright or whatever um to wear, I could maybe hold on to that. You never know. Just leave it in my car, you know, put it in here's another plain plain white t shirt. No good. There we go. Here's another one. Keith Keith Kaufman. There's another one. Wow, these are just really cool. Just really cool shirts. Good graphics, um, so they're just really neat. We're going to have to look him up and see what's going on there. Here's a Worldwide Sportsman. So nothing nothing crazy, but if it's a little bit older, maybe we can get a few bucks for it. This uh, Isla Mirada, Florida. So this was actually bought. This actually is connected to something, so that would probably be a good idea to hold on to that, keep that. All right, we got, we have like five left. Man, I'm telling you, this is just, I think this is going to be one heck of a video. What do you guys think? So I'm experimenting now a little bit more with um, my videos, trying to make them a little bit more, a um, little more desirable to watch, to listen, to see. So I'm trying to, um, you know, trying to strike all those senses. Look at that. Look at all that color in there. More racing. Oh, man. Whew. Holy macaroni. I wish it wasn't all racing. I wish it was different stuff. But, you know, I'm not complaining for a dollar a bag. I mean, for a potential, you know, hundreds of dollars with these racing shirts, you know, you just, you never know. Is this marble? Yep, marble unlimited. All right, this one's a little, it's just got some fuzzy on it, right? Yep, it's not dirty, just fuzzy. All right, so we have the Marble Unlimited, made in USA. Check out that marble tag. And then look at the back. It's just like, that's really cool. That's definitely something I could sell. Not a ton of money, um, not, a, not a ton of profit, but I'm looking at single stitch also. So maybe it looks like single stitch. I don't know. You tell me, guy. Um, tell me. Uh, yeah, that's probably, it's close enough. So that one's cool. There's a lot. There's a lot of good shirts in here. So here is a Marble Country Store. There's another one. That one's cool. This one's like really faded though. Like you can't really see it too much, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. This is the Marble Country Store. This was probably made in USA too. Yep, made in USA. There's the tag. There's the Marble Country tag. So that's cool. There's another one. Maybe I'll put those two together. There may even be another one in here, possibly. Rainbow Cove, Sanaka Lake, New York. Just a plain, probably not anything that has a ton of value. Here's another plain, another plain. It's all stained up. That one's no good. Then we have John Deere. Nothing runs like a deer. This is John Deere. Um, there's no size or anything on that. So I think that this may be a little bit older. The this, this stitching is kind of kind of older maybe. So I don't know. This one's hard to tell. But I can definitely still sell it. I'm guessing that this, is, this one is a little vintage. Um, close to it anyway. I'm, that's just my guess. So here's another Kaufman get her done. Man, I'm really hoping that this guy is definitely um, was a good racer. Um, I think these are old and not, he's probably not racing anymore. This one is another Dale Earnhardt. We want, we want it, we want it, we want it. The Daytona 500 is ours, never intimidated. That's really cool. There's the back. So the front was what? It says Dale Earnhardt Daytona champion, RCR Richard Childress Racing. This one is 1998, 40th annual, February 15th, 1998. So there's another one. 
made of US components on a competitor's view. It's on a competitor's view tag. So yeah, that's cool, dude. Man, these are awesome. These are just really awesome. This one is Lewistown Health and Fitness Center. Nothing special. That one's junk. Nothing I can do. Here's another Dale Earnhardt. Wow, this one is on a Chase Authentic. Fabric made in USA, assembled in Honduras. There's another one, Dale Earnhardt. So we're definitely going to do good with these shirts. This one is 19, is that 99? 1999 Action Sports. So there you have it. There's another one. Another one, dude. Oh, man. This is crazy. This was the best one yet. Here's another Keith Kaufman. This one is... This one's like 96 or something. 92, another one from 92. I think some of these might be duplicates. There's the back. There's the back, there's the front. So the back says Keith. This one has a rip in it. Got some glitter going on in the back, but it's all good. All right, next bag. Man, this is just, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. I couldn't believe this, this type of haul. You should see this mountain of clothing that come out of these bags. Like, there's 11 bags. There's another, there's that. That's Carhartt. All right, so I see some Carhartts in here. I see some basic Carhartt t-shirts. Here's, here's one, here's another one. Yeah, some of these were really big sizes. Here's a 4XL. Yeah, that one's, but it's ruined though. It's It's got crap all over it. So that's probably a work shirt. Another one, oh. Um, yeah, I just sold a pair of vintage Carhartt um, were they Carhartt or Dickies? I think they might have been Carhartt. I don't think these are old. Big size though, 2X. Let's see, made in El Salvador. So I'm probably just gonna toss them. They're just, they're just, um, yeah, I'll probably just toss them out. Anything that I don't think that is really worth putting the time into, I'm just gonna toss. So I have Headlock, Dad's Garage, full service. This one's got some fuzzies. Fuzzies on it, comes off, obviously. Yeah, it just says Dad's Garage. That's not something that's gonna have a ton of value. I don't have good experience with um, with larger clothing either. Like, I just don't. Here's another Carhartt. Ruined, it's got stuff all over it. No good, I'll just toss that out. Here's another Carhartt. Um, these, are, these are modern. This one's not as bad, but I'm just gonna get rid of them because I don't wanna, I just don't wanna deal with them. I'd rather deal with the graphic shirts, deal with the plain ones that don't have a ton of value. So we'll just let them go. Here's some more color in this bag. Seeing some more color, guys. What are we looking at? Uh oh. Let's see. I'm waiting for a um, I'm waiting for a band tee, man. Oh man, here's some here's tie dye. Uh oh. Hold on. Not just plain tie dye. Just a plain tie dye. Is it a large and give it to one of my boys? It's a medium. He might wear that. My boys might wear that. Possibly. This one is brave, unique, set apart, masterpiece, work of art, unusual. So this one is, it says Francesca Battistelli. I don't know if that was just a custom t-shirt or something, but I'm just probably going to toss it. I'll probably toss that out. No designer stuff though, like they, they definitely know their brands, like they know their designer brands. District 7, Skills USA, I don't even know. Yeah, that's just was high school or something. Here's Canada, eh? We got a lazy one. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty kind of like a ringer, but it's not. Um uh, I might be able to sell that. It's got a got a funny vibe to it so we'll see this one is cotton expressions this is i think these are a little bit older periodic table of the elements 96 to 2012 so this is a reprint all right so that's a reprint if it was the one from 96 it would definitely be worth 
it would be worth more. I th I'm pretty sure that these are worth a good bit, but that's a reprint. I'm still going to hold on to it. This one is Pennsylvania Technology Student Association 2019. That can get donated. Um, I'm not sure if donating these is going to help anyone, but May 12, 2017. That one's junk, too. That one's like nothing. Here's another vintage um, thin single stitch t-shirt. This one is Upward Bound Migrant Summer Academy for Creative Studies. No, that's just nothing. That one's junk. That one's a donation. This one is Kicking It With West. Yeah, that one's local. That one's junk. All right, so let's see, guys, we got two more. That's my bank statements. I need to put those away. Two more guys, and it's four o'clock, so this video is like pretty long. A little too long, longer than what I wanted it to be, but this one, I think the rest is just, since we hit so many good ones, I think the rest is just going to be probably junk. Maybe, maybe not. Here is some camo. This one is, this one's a real tree max. It's a big shirt. Wow. Huge, yeah, that's nothing. You can buy real tree. You can buy this crap in the dollar store now, so. Um, here's another one, another headlock, another, just another basic, another big shirt. So these are all gonna be the same. That means that most of these are probably from the same pile and they're all junk. Dickie's Temp IQ, another 4X. Got some issues on the back. All of them have, he must have been like maybe drywall or something, maybe um, had his back to the wall or something like that, because that's what it looks like. So here's a Penn State Nittany Lions. It's on a Pro. It's on a Delta. Pro weight, but it's not anything really, nothing, nothing crazy, spectacular, really worth anything. We got enough Penn State stuff. It's so hard to sell Penn State um, stuff. It really is. The Salty Dog Cafe, that's pretty cool. Not really any value there either. Not any value on those. Definitely know that, that from experience. Here's another, another Falcon Bay Hunter, big bucks, another one. Yeah, see, I'm all this big stuff like that, that can go. I'm not really sweating that. Here's a Woolrich. It's actually a chamois. Big Woolrich. Don't, unless there's a hole or something in it, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's a newer one. Actually, it's not, it's not really a sham. Oh, it's got big tears all over the bottom. That one's trash. All right, guys. Last but not least, I have a feeling that this last one's not going to be too good. Maybe there'll be one good shirt in here. That'd be pretty cool for the finale, but not really looking too promising i think that we pulled all the best stuff out already and it's like a mountain it's a mountain of clothing so i'm not complaining yeah see here's more of the tank top there's another tank top they're all the same though they're all they were all 2xl yeah they're all 2xl that one's so they can get donated also they can go over there that's junk Ah, this is a plain black tea. Nothing, no good. We have um, Rehoboth, Delaware. Nothing, nothing to get crazy excited about. This looks like another vintage. Another vintage, yeah. I'm going to put these together. I'm going to sell all them together because there's got to be at least six of them. And we have another medium made in USA. There's another one. This one's... This one seems like army or something. That one's like army or something. I don't know. Because I could tell by the tag. Here's some more. Yeah. Um, this one is just a plain, just a plain fruit of the loom tag, pocket tee, nothing, nothing crazy. Here's another vintage one. Another pocket t-shirt. So I don't know what those are worth, but so when you type in pocket t-shirt, you're actually typing in an actual brand. I said actual. Three times okay all right so this is bbd made in usa but 
got some tears on the back of it. Yeah, that's just, nobody's going to want to wear that. It's a shame because that's vintage. There's another wife beater. No thanks. And the tank top looks like a woman's tank top junk. There's another. Oh, check this out. This is made in USA. Yep, it's a 50-50 McGregor. That's cool. That's really neat. So that one I can definitely move. All right, guys, so we're almost done. This is women's. That's another junk. Another junk shirt. Here is another old. Now, see, they look old, but they're not. It looks like an older shirt. Like, you could tell it's soft. It's not vintage. I don't want to put that with. And here's Jockey. So that's it, guys. That's it. That's all she wrote. Now, I think that, here's my return. Had these Lululemons returned. She said there was a small hole in them. We shall see, said the blind man, if the blind man could find the hole. Hmm, no pun intended. Anyway, I don't know, guys. You tell me. Look at that pile. Look at that pile. I paid $11 for all that. You guys seen all of those racing t-shirts. You know that there is potential profit. There's definitely, definitely a lot of profit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it unwrapping all of that stuff and looking at all that cool crap that was just really awesome i'm going to start taking photos getting those racing shirts listed um i'm going to put all of the vintage t-shirt thin single stitch made in usa pocket tees they're all going to go all perfect combination all perfect um keywords to put in my title um if you guys want to see any of my items or want to buy anything that i do have you can check out my ebay store it may or may not be listed depending on how long it takes for me to list the item. Um, sometimes items list for or stay, they stay sitting here for maybe a couple months before I list them. I always want to make sure now that I have plenty of stuff sitting in a death pile. I don't consider it my death pile, I consider it my backup inventory. So um, you can look at it any way, any way how that you want to look at it regardless. Um, I'm only one person. I can only do so much in one day anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, once I start running out of space, then we're going to start bumping into a problem. I already have the corner over here filled um, with like three bins of stuff that need to be listed. So I'm just going to take my time, not get overwhelmed, not necessarily take my time, but um, you know, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, like I said, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I post another video. That's it. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>